Hi, my name is Mujit Mejia and I'm going to talk about veganism. I grew up with animals. They've always been part of my life. Um, but I actually didn't choose to love them. Both of my parents are vets, so I kinda didn't have an option. I'm going to start by giving out the definition of veganism. According to the vegan society, veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude, as far as it is possible and practicable, all forms of exploitation of or cruelty to animals for food, clothing or any other purposes. As I said before, both of my parents are vets. My father is a college professor and he works at UNAM. He works at a ranch that belongs to this university, so since I was a baby, I used to hang out a lot with sheep and goats and animals. But I still ate barbacoa, which I know it sounds weird. I was particularly fond of a sheep. Her name was Edward, and yes, her name. I actually didn't realize she was a female until the day she disappeared. And she actually didn't disappear, they ate her. I remember I used to visit her a lot and I really love her. I loved running my fingers through her wool. Uh, one day I went looking for her and she wasn't in her pen anymore. One of the vets told me uh, she had been sold for a party. And in that moment I realized that someone was going to eat her or probably had already murdered her. That same weekend, uh, there was a party at the ranch and they cooked barbacoa in the traditional oven they had. That was the first time I realized I was going to eat a sheep just like ever and I couldn't do it. But I kept eating hot dogs and tacos and pizza and other animal byproducts. So then, what changed? I actually had plenty of these kind of experiences throughout my childhood, but it was until uh, the first year of junior high. My favorite subject was biology, and I was top of my class. So the teacher really appreciated me. It was the end of the school year, and he told us that we were going to do a lab practice of anatomy, and I knew that meant playing with dead corpses. Well, corpses are dead, right? <laughs> um, so I told the teacher I didn't want to do the practice because I didn't agree on it, and he said that I had no choice and that it was going to be part of my grade, and if I didn't do it, he was going to fail me. So I kind of didn't have an option. That day came, and I remember I entered the lab. And there were three dead rabbits laying on the table, and the heart of a pig on the other one. Every time I remember this, I get chills. And it's really sad, at least for me. Um, so then he told us that it was not going to be just the lab practice, it was actually our final exam. And he also maliciously said that if the exam wasn't covered in blood, he was not going to grade it. I know it sounds savage, but I'm not joking. My friend Eos and I were at the lab. And just imagine this picture, 22 kids around the table poking, staring, and laughing at the dead corpse of an animal. It was shocking and brutal. We were standing on the corner of the lab, crying, just answering our exam. And we felt hopeless. They had killed those animals so we could stare at them? Really? We didn't even know that much of anatomy. We were just kids. And the 3D model that we had consulted El um, earlier was even easier to understand than just staring at dead animals. So for me, it didn't make sense. I ended up the test, I delivered it, I had to cover it on the 
blood of the pig because my teacher is kind of crazy, I guess. Uh, then I went home and I told my dad that I was not going to eat animals anymore. If I couldn't bear standing next to the dead body of an animal without feeling its pain and suffering, how could I possibly pay someone else to slaughter a living being so I could eat it? It was nonsense. Um, however, I kept eating cheese and milk and also eggs. I stayed that, e that way for about three years, but by this period of time my older sister was already a vegan and everything she said about this made sense. Uh, so we really don't talk a lot about the cruelty behind the egg and dairy industry. However, the dairy industry necessitates the death of countless male calves that are for no use to this industry. And it also um, contributes to the premature death of cows when they decrease their milk production. And something really similar happens in the egg industry. So if you think about it, if you're a vegetarian, you're still being part of the murdering of thousands of animals. So for me, being a vegetarian is not enough. Um, so in that moment, I realized that if I say that I love animals as much as I do, why should I contribute to the system that exploits them and murders them? And that's why I'm a vegan. And um, this is almost the end of my TED talk, but I would like to end it saying that I'm not telling you to be a vegan because I know it's hard for a lot of people, but maybe the next time that you eat a hamburger or drink a latte or maybe enjoy a cracker with some cheese, please think about all the animals that had to suffer throughout their whole lives so you could eat that and that's it.